today, uh, celebrating our partnership with Minitech Defense Technologies. It's been a very exciting time for us. DuPont is an innovative leader in material science, and we're excited to bring our material science along with Minitech, who is a uh, key manufacturer in the defense industry with a lot of expertise, um, specifically in the bearing space. So I'm very excited to hopefully open up the scope, the application scope for this product and get it in front of a lot of new customers. Uh, but for us, really, we're just excited to be here to partner. Minitech is a fast-growing company. Honestly, they have a lot of drive, uh, great innovation skills, and we see them as a very strong strategic partner for us. We're very excited to work with Minitech uh, Defense Technologies and DuPont together. Uh, to create a uni unique uh, uh, product and uh, today is really the, the, the day we launched this product together and uh, I'd like to share uh, some thoughts around it. So a little bit of the background, uh, utilizing DuPont's material technology and Manatech's uh, uh, unique exper expertise in manufacturing uh, and the um, customer insights in the defense area but also in aerospace and others led to this uh, um, joint collaboration. Um, maybe let me also share a little bit some thoughts on the, the product itself, what, what makes it so unique. Uh, it's, it's really a uh, self-lubricating bearing that uh, has improvements in uh, maintenance cycles. Uh, it's really eliminates the need for lubrication and provides uh, other wear and friction benefits uh, to customers. For us really together with Manatech, what we're trying to uh, accomplish together is, is uh, utilize this, this unique offering uh, into the, uh, and, and uh, highlight this, this uh, innovation into the market, market space. Uh, uh, and we're starting first with the defense industry as there's an immediate need uh, for improved, uh, uh, improved life cycle time. Um, but we also uh, don't want to stop there. We want to move also into uh, other markets like aerospace, railway, and uh, eventually transportation markets as well.